<clears throat> so good morning, good morning. So he was a 93-year-old man. This is a fictional patient, but a composite. He was living there at the nursing facility, and the nurses asked me to please go see him. So sure enough, there he was. He was sweet as could be, but he had no idea what day it was, what month it was, where he was. He didn't even know his last name. It was very, very hard of hearing as well. So I went up close to him, and I decided to sing a verse connected to today's reading of the Bible. It went like this. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me. I'm not sleepy, and there is no place I'm going to. And with that, his eyes opened up. He started to smile, and then he started to hum along with me. And so we sang together, Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me. In the jingle, jangle morning, I'll come following you. Music. Music, of course, is the language of the soul. And when I sang something that was familiar to him, his eyes opened up and he smiled and he came alive once again. Because yes, the music from our youth, the music from our past, we'll remember it's there inside of us, just like our soul. So yes, we should always sing, sing to our children, sing to our parents, sing to ourselves wherever we go. And sure enough, today's reading of the Bible, the, the Jewish people, as they crossed miraculously the Red, sea, the Red Sea, they were singing as well. And as they continued, they pulled out their tambourines, the women did, led by Miriam. They pulled out their tambourines and they sang and they danced. And I must say, this 93-year-old, as he was singing along with me, he was sort of dancing along too, humming and singing. Fill your life with song, music, the language of the soul.